Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to get this weapon right here, the Fox Lamp. It can be a little confusing to get, so I'll show you exactly how to do it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you need to do is to be in the third C. You can only get the Fox Lamp in the third C. Next, you have to go to Tiki Island. So, as you can see, I am in the middle at Sea Castle right here. And if you see where Great Tree is, you look completely opposite to it. And that is where Tiki Island is. It's in between Haunted Castle and Floating Turtle. As you can see, I am now at Tiki Island and I'll just head to the top right over here. So the next thing you're going to want to do is wait until the day before a full moon. Now, if you're in a private server like I am, you know that that day starts around 40 minutes after the private server opens. So, if you restart your private server and rejoin, then for about 40 minutes from there, it will be the day before a full moon. When it is the day before a full moon, you can see this is the front of Tiki Island. You can head to the back of it, right over here. And then what you're going to want to do is buy a boat. For me, I'm just going to buy the Miracle. The next thing you are going to want to do is go out to the end of the fifth zone, just before zone six. Once you are there, wait for the text, the light of a full moon peeks through the clouds. As you can tell, I'm right next to the sixth zone. So if I go right over here, I'll enter it. See, I'm in the sixth zone now. Now let's go back out. So you're going to want to wait here until you see the message. When the message happens, you go straight into the sixth zone. And that's within five to 10 seconds of the message appearing in order to spawn a Kitsune Shrine Island. Now a tip, if you don't want uh, these guys to destroy a boat, you can use portal fruit. Let me just show you. So there's ships here, right? I can use the dimensional rift. Oh, there's a sea beast as well. All right, so if I want to get rid of everything here, I just press the V key. Now I'm in my area. I come out. And guess what isn't here anymore? All of those monsters and stuff. So that's how you can despawn them while waiting for the full moon. Now, once you have spawned the island, go to the center of the island. There'll be a rock or shrine there, and you have to go interact with it. When you interact with it, you start a timer. And during the time that the timer is active, there will be a blue moon, and around the island, there will be embers that spawn. These embers spawn every 30 seconds, and there's a decent amount of them. You pick up the embers by running into them. The easiest way to pick up embers is by using something like Awakened Buddha, where you are really big, so you can just run into them decently easy, or something fast, similar to Portal with a teleport, so you can teleport straight onto them, or using some swords like CDK where you can aim at them and dash right up to them. Now the next thing is every single time you have 15 embers, you can check how many you have at the bottom here in your items, go to the shrine and interact with it. When you do that, it swaps the 15 embers for a chance to get either the fox lamp, some accessories, a title, an aura color, fragments, or even a physical kitsune fruit. Now note that you need 15 to 25 embers to have a chance to get these rewards. If you interact with the shrine and you only have 10 to 14 embers, you can only get money or fragments, not any of the better rewards. I was very lucky and the first time I ever did it, I got the fox lamp. And then there was still time left on the timer, so I went around, went and grabbed more of them and then I got the accessory, the Kitsune Ribbon. I think the Fox Lamp is a pretty good weapon. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.